SSL is a must have for modern websites. There's a small problem when using SSL on a HubSpot website. Today we're gonna to show you how to fix it. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. When you're using SSL with a HubSpot website, HubSpot only applies the SSL to the www version of the website. So if somebody tries to type in the full URL and types in HTTPS and then the non-WW version, they're gonna get an error. Likewise, if there's a link set up that way, they will also get that error. Luckily, this is actually a really simple issue to fix using a free tool called Naked SSL. Let's dive in. So this here is the beautiful test website that we created for this video. Uh, this is actually a WordPress website, but that's only because we were able to set it up quicker. Um, there, it's basically set up so that it replicates the issue that HubSpot has. So I'm gonna show you what we're talking about. So if you type in the URL without any prefix, everything will work just fine. So you're taken to the website, no problem. The problem is if you type in the full URL with the prefix, if you use HTTPS and then the non WWW version, you will get this error. So anybody that types in that full URL, or if they go to a link that's set up with that URL, which is the more common case, then they're gonna get this error, and that's definitely something that you don't want your visitors to get. So unfortunately, there's no way to fix this inside of HubSpot right now. So you have to use a third party, but as long as you're only doing this to one domain, that third party tool is free. If you have to do it for more domains, there is a small cost, but it's not very expensive. So the tool we're gonna to use is called Naked SSL. It's just nakedssl.com. And the first thing you're gonna do is type in your domain right here and click this run test button. And it's gonna do a quick test and then this button will turn green. Go ahead and click that and then it'll ask you to create an account. And then they'll send you an email to verify. Click on the confirm my account button. And now we'll be able to set it up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click add domain at the top. You're gonna put in your non WW version of your domain. And it'll automatically fill in the WW version here. Then click next. Mark which area is closest to you. Hit next again. Uh, these settings, most of the time, you don't have to worry about them. If you don't know what they mean, you can skip them. Uh, just go ahead and hit next. All right, and the next thing it's gonna do is give you instructions to set this up in your DNS provider. So you'll log in, um, navigate to the DNS setting. So for every domain, the DNS provider, it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, but once you're there, you're going to add an A record to the non-WW version uh, with this IP address. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. And we use Namecheap. I'm already logged in here. So I've already got an A record for my non-WWW version. So I'm going to actually delete that and add a new one. So it's going to be an A record. The host is going to be at. And we're going to paste that IP address they gave us. And we're gonna change this to one minute and save it. And like I said, if you're using a different DNS provider, this might look a little bit different for you. Uh, you can always reach out to the DNS provider support to figure out how to add a new A record if you're not sure how to do that. So once you're done, you're gonna click on this DNS updated button and it's going to wait for that DNS record to become valid. Uh, this can take a certain amount of time. They say it can take up to 48 hours. Usually it doesn't take that long. I marked it as a minute, so usually only gonna take a couple minutes if you do that. All right, now it's been a few minutes and you can see that our DNS record is marked as updated, our virtual host is created, and the SSL certificate for that naked domain is also created. So if we go and test this and type in HTTPS and the non-WW version of the website, 
It will redirect to the www version with no error and there's no problems for a user. So a little bit of a pain since you can't fix it directly inside of HubSpot, but luckily this naked SSL tool is free and simple to set up. If you have any questions about the instructions we gave you today, or if there's a hack you want to see us cover in the future, make sure you drop it in those comments below. And as always, for more HubSpot hacks, tips, and how-tos, make sure you hit that subscribe button.